Hey, it's Abhi here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to find profitable products to with a brand bid strategy with Google Ads. All right. So let me go ahead and show you what I exactly do. So this is the Clickbank marketplace. I think you all know that if you know what Clickbank is. So what I generally do is I go ahead and jot down you know, straight to the point, right? Straight to the point video. I jot down all the products in Clickbank like this, right? All the popular products. So live pure for example right and then i go and i type in red boost okay and then i type in alpha tonic and so for so on so forth for like next 30 products or even 50 products sometimes and this is a one time painful research but you know once you do this you don't have to do this for several months all right now what i do is i copy all these keywords all the 30 keywords so let me just copy this for for example all the uh, keywords here and if i go to tools and settings and keyword planner here what i will do is i will paste it on my keyword I uh, keyword ideas here okay i have to change from india to usa so us here all right and i, I can add australia i can add uk but i think this is enough uh, for the research and get results all right now it will show me all the you know average monthly searches all the data here right here okay now what i need to do is uh, i generally do so for example this is pure y okay and the monthly search so for example this is the monthly search and i will jot down the latest one so the latest one is twenty two thousand searches all right twenty two thousand searches here Per month now i will what, what i will take a look at is i will take if the graph the what is the general direction of graph so i think this is pretty consistent for a few months now so i will just add straight straight line all right so that i know that this is a product that can if if, if it works it can be evergreen and now what i will do is i will jot down the top of the page bid here so that is 200 inr so 200 inr basically is let me just search google for that real quick it is about 2.4 us dollars all right so that is 2.4 usd right and then there is a low low beach a low that is a low a low bit range right and this is the top of the bit, bit range so i will copy that i will paste that here right and that is six dollars but i i don't really worry about you know the top of the pitch uh top of the <laughs> top of the bid okay uh rate so i don't really worry. so i do this for every single thing right for uh, live pure for example here we can see uh that is for live pure right i just messed that up so i will copy whoops i will just copy that i don't really do this in a notepad i will show you i have an excel sheet that i do so we will do that so pure why it should be somewhere here not sure why it is not here okay anyway so you can see uh alpha tonic here okay and i will type alpha tonic that is the one and it has about fourteen thousand searches fourteen thousand eight hundred searches fourteen thousand eight hundred searches and i will take a look at the graph like what what does it do and i think it is going up right going up and the bid right and the bid here you can see the bid is 191 rupees so that's about 191 that's about two dollars and 29 cents right you get the point now what happens is what i do basically is i copy i have a sheet so i will show that to you real quick so this is the product research sheet and you can see i have already um, you know created this sheet right here uh, this is not my uh, product uh, credit sheet this is actually uh, from uh, a course that i have joined called super effort sniper they provided me this sheet and this this has been very helpful for me Okay, so you can see I, I, I don't really use Clickbank right now, but I use MaxWeb and you can see all the product name that I am trying to research here. You can see all the search volume that I jotted down. You can see the low end CPC. All right. And you can see the graph direction. You can see directly move, moving straight, things like that. All right. And then I, yes, I add the average payout as well. So the average payout would be 
you need to really think with it right so for example average payout for uh, live your is 150 dollars 152 dollars right 152 dollars and nine cents 90 cents okay 97 cents all right and one more thing that you need to make sure is so this is a very important factor whether uh, to decide whether you will run a campaign the brand bidding campaign or not and what's that that is if you see the sheet here real quick you can see that if there is other advertisers if there are other advertisers advertising this program right so for alpha tonic in this case yes there are advertisers so how did i how did i check that you can go and uh, click uh, search on Google VPN Mentor or I search from these are two websites that I use. So if you click on search by location here, right, it basically shows you what the results will look like on Google if it's like you are in US. OK, so for example, Alpha Tonic right here and you click on search. Right. A lot of people have answers that that in there, for example, where, where was that Alpha Tonic and in their affiliate page, Right. Advertisers tell them that brand bidding is not allowed. OK. And still I do brand bidding and I make a lot of money doing that. OK. You can see no brand bidding, no PPC search campaigns using product name Alpha Tonic and such. But still there are tons of advertisers who are, you know, who are running ads on this. Right. You see here who are running ads and, you know, taking and getting paid right it's, it's the same uh, with me like you if you check my past videos you will know that right i do brand bidding right so there's a specific way to do this now here in this uh, graph why are we you know why are we putting down if there is other advertisers or not because if there are other advertisers then that means generally that product is safe to brand bid regardless of what is written in here in the affiliate page now let me tell you one thing right a lot of vendors, a lot of vendors just copy paste these affiliate terms from other products vendor page, other products affiliate page to their own. Right? They get lazy. Right? They know that uh, they have done the, all the research why they should write it from uh, write it themselves. Right? They just copy and paste it in their own form, and you can see that they don't really care that they that you are brand bidding, that people are brand bidding. Right. If they actually go and, you know, enforce this brand bidding, nobody would be able to run ads like this and spend money. And one way to confirm this, right, if they're if if it is safe to brand bid is uh, go to their landing page. So I am not going to click on ads. I will simply let me just open a new tab here. I will simply go to their landing page right here. Right. Copy page on Notepad and paste that here and I will go to their landing page. And what I will look, you can, in this method, you can actually look at their landing page as well. And this actually looks pretty good, right? Pretty good landing page. And you can click on order now here, right? It will take you to their affiliate link, okay? It will take you to the ClickBank or Buy Goods or MaxWeb or any, any similar affiliate page, right? Uh, any similar affiliate product page. So this, if I click on order now here and click on add to cart, any, any product, uh, just focus on this video okay let it load and if you go below you will see this affiliate id so this is some these are some gibberish <laughs> okay now let me just copy that let me just uh, show you something here real quick new tab so if this is if this is shown in the checkout page of any affiliate offer then it is fine vendor is paying that affiliate the commissions OK, so for example, if there is something called INV at the end of the affiliate page, that means it is invalid. Right. And vendor has stopped paying affiliate that those commissions. All right. And you can go ahead and do a little research, open these three or four landing pages and check whether this is the same case with all the affiliates. And if that is the case, then that is a green signal that you can do brand bidding on that particular product. So in this case, you can, can do brand bidding on Alpha Tonic. All right. But with Red Boost, it is not the case. So if you see, if you have saw, if you saw my previous video about the Red Boost case study, you can see I have made a lot of money and it was still there in the affiliate page that I, I can't, I can't run, you know, this brand bidding campaign. But I still did and a lot of other affiliates did, 
right and i made a lot of money with that but after a while they did you know reduce my commission and they did start to enforce the brand bidding rule okay so when that happens what to do when that happens you move on that's it that's the game of brand bidding right but a lot of products like it's the same so you can brand bid on uh, you cannot do the, on this i think you cannot do on live pure i think you uh, people are doing on pure vive so if i re- uh, search on this real quick right pure vive people are go, people are running ads on this right and they are making money with it okay it depends upon what landing pages how are the cpc and all those all those are different things right uh, the strategy is little different but you know people are making money with it okay so for example prudent team you can run ads on prudent team there is no issues yet no there you can run on a uh, pro study in for example and their affiliate pages say that there is no uh, you, you can't brand bid right i can just do and force brand bid so do not you know do not promote this cortex c is fine for now you can do it alpine not fine right so what i did is you know i had this ex, uh, this sheet right this google doc where i jotted down what products do not allow brand bid and what products are uh, allowed to brand bid okay but you know you can get that if you actually go ahead and watch the training below and join the training right i learned all this all this from uh, them right uh, the program called super affiliate sniper and if you want a free training what it is even if it is brand bait even if it is a simple strategy now the cpc is quite high if you see here right if you see on excel sheet the cpc is quite high over a dollar and sometimes it goes about three dollars four dollars but still you know you can make pretty good amount of money if everything is aligned and if if you have a profitable product right if you can see uh for biofit for example there is low search volume but it, it is a pretty good st- search volume still okay and the graph is pretty straight that means for a lot of months it's it's been consistent so you can make money with it the average payout is pretty good uh the cpc is pretty good but uh, there are no other advertisers for biofit okay and so that means they do not allow brand bidding and they do enforce the brand bidding rule for brain savior there are advertisers for synagroma there are advertisers and so on okay now based on this based on all the data in this excel right the it comes at result it it shows me the result in you know, which product i should go after right which has the perfect search volume for me to get started with after i do all this research with 50 60 uh, you know uh, products right here here it is just like about 17 of them uh, 15 out of them i guess and you can see top offers by search volume and top offers by cpc and you can compare and get the you know best of it and just go after and run an ad okay now there is a strategic way to do uh, run ads and there is a strategic way of you know creating landing pages that gives you uh, the results right and people are making a lot of money of you know people over aged over 50s and 60s are making money doing this right and i know some of them personally and it it is inside the super affiliate uh, sniper course in fact click the link in the description watch the free training and then decide if you want to do it or not if you do you can get access to me as well i will help you i will help you with the landing pages ads and everything as well okay so that's a bonus for you so i hope you uh, found this video helpful i hope you found how i find profitable uh, products here uh, by the way if you don't if you can don't have a sheet you can still go this uh, notepad route right and you can type it out and compare it manually you know, use a excel sheet not not a notepad by the way this was a bad example but use an excel sheet and create your own version and see how it works out for you you know check here here, here. you can take a screenshot of this and create it and you know make a uh, be a judge for yourself if you want a copy of this you can actually join the course and i will give it to you or actually the uh, course uh, creators do give it to you themselves okay and i hope you got the answer a lot of people ask me this how are you brand bidding when there is this clause in in the affiliate pages of clickbank products or any products right this is why i do it this is how i check whether there are running ads whether their affiliate link works whether you know uh, whether it is a problem or not so that's how i decide and if i uh, go after a product if it is not profitable then how to get into profitable how to optimize it how to when to move on to next product and things like that this is very strategic you cannot just go and run an ad and if you make sales that's great but you need to be profitable for long term so if you want to do that 
uh, click the link in the description and check the free tra uh, free training and that's it i'll see you in the next video cheers